Hi everybody, this is Courtney from Fiverr Fox Studios and today what we're going to be working on is the front panels for sizes 6 through the adult sizes. I'm going to use this one tutorial to show you how you're going to go ahead and do your front panels for your kimono cardigan. You are going to refer down below in the description to find out how many foundation ovals you need to mark in order to work your piece. The beginnings and ends for each of these sizes is exactly the same. I'm going to show in this tutorial how to work into five of the foundation ovals. That is going to be for the bulk of the sizes. Um, however, all you need to do is refer down below. You will mark and you will continue on the same way. You'll just pause the video and you will work on to the end and then meet back up with me at the end of your row in order to do the finishing, the end of that row do the row ends. So we will be doing the row ends and beginnings for one repeat on this. The way that you've been working your um, kimono cardigan has actually been from the foundation ovals down here up. And in order to go ahead and work your front panels, you're going to be flipping your piece over so that your foundation ovals are back up here at the top and you're going to mark the foundation oval. All of that information is down below. You're going to mark the oval that you need in order to make sure that you don't zoom past it. So you're going to be working the same number of ovals on each side of the cardigan. You're just going to have to do one panel and then clip your yarn after you've done the same number of repeats that you did for your back panel. You're going to go down the same amount of times. Then you're going to clip your yarn and tie that off and move over to do the other side in the same exact manner. So this tutorial will help everybody who is doing the children's sizes on through the adults. Um, and I will have all that information below. So we're going to go ahead and identify our foundation ovals. If you take a look at your work, you can see that the foundation oval is right here. And it's very easy to see in the larger sizes. The one that I'm working on right here happens to be one of the children's sizes still. However, because it's done with a slightly larger hook than the baby sizes, you can see your ovals really easily. And you can tell exactly where you were working before. And you're just going to be working here on the opposite side of that. So for this tutorial, I am going to be marking the fifth oval. You will refer down below to get the number of ovals that you need. And you are going to go ahead and mark that with a stitch marker, a piece of yarn, whatever you have. Bobby pins, I've heard a lot of people use those as well. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the same exact hook that we've been doing our back panel in, same yarn, same hook, and we're going to go ahead and get a slip knot ready, and we're going to go ahead and do that by grabbing that hook and getting this tied on. Just one moment. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a slip knot real quick, and we're going to have our hook actually separate, and we're going to go right here. We're on the side of our um, kimono cardigan. We're going to go into that very first foundation oval, and we're going to go ahead and slip that slip knot onto our hook. And we're going to pull that through. And then we're going to grab the yarn. I like to grab both pieces. And we're going to go ahead and pull that through and do a chain right there. And we actually need three chains to begin this row. So we're going to go ahead and do a second chain and our final third chain. And then we can let that tail go ahead and fall to the back. And we'll tie that in later on. Sew it on in. So we're going to do three we're going to need three um, double crochets right here to start out this row. You have the chain three acting as your first double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet right here in that foundation oval, just like how we began the back panel. We're going to do a double crochet right there and do our third double crochet right back again into the same foundation oval. We have our third double crochet. Now we're going to chain five, one, two, three four, and five, and that's the beginning of our repeat for this row. And we're going to go ahead and move here into this next foundation oval, and we are going to do three single crochets. There's number one, right there directly into that foundation oval, number two, and number three. And now we're going to chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here into this next foundation oval, and we're going to do five double crochets. One, directly into that oval. Two, 
three, four, and five. And that is the end of our repeat for this row. We're going to continue on until you've worked into all of your foundation ovals. So if you are working one of the larger sizes that requires you to go into seven foundation ovals or more, you're going to want to go ahead and pause here and continue working on down. And then we're going to meet back up at the end where you have your stitch marker. If you're doing one of the sizes that requires you to work in five foundation ovals, you do not need to pause the video. We're going to go ahead and work those out together. So we're starting our repeat again on this. So we're going to do a chain five, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over here into our next foundation oval. And we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, and three, right there into that foundation oval, all three of them, just like that. And we're going to chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. And now you are at the end of your row. You've met that stitch marker that you have in. So you are going to be beginning and ending these rows. This is technically your row two. Same way each and every time as you work this front panel, you're going to do three double crochets right here into that stitch. Just like that. And that is the end of this row. So to begin our next row, we're going to go ahead and chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to turn our work. And we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet right here into this very first stitch. The same stitch that we have our chain five coming out of, just like we were doing on the back panel, we're going to go back into that same very first stitch out of the three stitches right here. And we're going to do a double crochet in that stitch. And then we're going to continue on down in this section and do a double crochet in the next two double crochets. Right there, one in the top of each just like you were doing on your back panel. And there's number two. So now I have my work looking like this. We're going to chain four this time. And this is the beginning of your repeat for this row. So if you're making one of the larger sizes, I'll have all this marked in the video for you. So we've got a chain four and we're going to be moving here into the center single crochet. We're going to skip the first single crochet and go right here into the second one. And we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to move over here. We're now at the five double crochets. So we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to do a double crochet in the first three double crochets from the previous row. So we're going to work just like this. We're going to go here into this first one. We're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet right there on the top. And then we're right here at this third one. So we're going to do a double crochet right there in the third. Now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to go right back into that same double crochet. We're going right back there in that same stitch. And we're going to do a second double crochet into the same stitch. So there is my second double crochet. So it's looking just like that. And now we're going to do a double crochet in the next two double crochets to finish out this section. Double crochet and a double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So now you're going to continue on. If you're doing one of the larger sizes, you are going to pause here and you're going to continue on and you're going to meet back up with me when you are at these three double crochets at the end of this uh, row right here, the end of your front panel. So if you are not doing one of the larger sizes, you're going to continue on with me with a chain four. And we're going to go right here into the center single crochet, so the second single crochet, and we're going to do a single crochet right there on the top of that. And we are going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to move on here to these last three double crochets, and we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. So you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the first stitch, a double crochet right here in the next stitch right there on the top and a double crochet here in this last. This is actually our chain three that we began this row with. So we're going to find the top of the chain three by counting up one, two, and three. 
and we're going to go right there into that stitch and we are going to do a double crochet right there we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to go back down in that same exact stitch right there in the same one and do another double crochet and you've already finished out this row so now we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to turn our work just like that and we are going to do three double crochets right here into that chain two space that we just created so you're going to wrap your yarn and go ahead and do three double crochets our chain three at the very beginning is counting as one so we're doing a total of four double crochets right here and there is number three check your counts so that chain three is my first double crochet and then we made three double crochets right there into the chain two space now we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to move over here to these three double crochets right here so we're going to go ahead and move right into that section and do a double crochet in the top of each of those double crochets from the previous row so we're going to go from there, then we're going to go right here into this stitch, just like so. And we're going to go right here into this last one, just like that. And we are going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to move here into this single crochet from the previous row and do a single crochet. And we're going to chain three again. And we're going to move over here to these three double crochets in this chain five space. So first we're going to work into the three double crochets. We're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the top of each of those stitches. You can pull that work apart so you can see what you're doing. Just like that. Here's number two. And here is number three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do seven double crochets right here into this chain five space. We're going to work directly into that. So we're going to do one double crochet. Here's number two. Here is number three. Here's number four. And five. Six. And seven. And we're going to go back and check our count. We want to always make sure we check our count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to go into these three double crochets right here. So coming right off of that chain five space, we're going to work that other side and do a double crochet in the top of each double crochet from the previous row right here. Here's number two and number three. And now we're going to end our repeat right there. I will have it marked where you can rewind back if you're doing one of the larger sizes and need help with this row. Probably pretty familiar with it from doing the back panels, but I will have it marked. If you are doing one of the other sizes, you are going to continue on with me with the ones that need the five worked into. And we're going to chain three. We're going to come over here and put a single crochet in the top of that single crochet from the previous row. And we are going to chain three again, one, two, and three. And we're going to come over here to the three double crochets that are over here at the very end of our row. And we are going to put a double crochet in the top of each one of those double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. And we're going to do a chain three going to wrap your yarn and you're now in that chain five that we began that previous row with and we're going to do three double crochets right here into that chain five space one two and three and now we need a fourth double crochet but we're actually going to count up from the bottom and find the top of the chain three down here or find the third chain out of that chain five so we're going to go one two and three and we're going to insert our hook right in there and we're going to do our last double crochet right there into that space. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, 
and four, and we're going to turn our work. Oops. Pulled it right off the hook. I did, I did. Try not to do that. So we're right here. I need to turn my work like this. So you can really start to see your front panel starting to form now at this point. So this is our last row and then we're going to do our new row one and you will be moving on down your front panel. So we're going to skip this very first stitch right here that our chain four is coming out of and we're going to go right here into the second double crochet in that section and we are going to do a double crochet cluster. So you're going to wrap your yarn as I just did without telling you what I was doing. You're going to wrap your yarn and you're going to insert your hook into that top of that second double crochet and you are going to pull up a loop. You're going to pull through two and you're going to hold it. You're going to wrap your yarn again and you're going to go in one more time. So you're going to do that a total of three times. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to pull through two and you're going to hold it. So you've got your four loops on your hook. So you're going to grab your yarn and pull through all four. You're going to chain three and just as you did on your back panel you're going to be skipping the very next double crochet and you're going to move here into this last one in the section and do another double crochet cluster there's one two and three times into that same exact stitch you end up with four loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through all four loops and this begins your repeat now for this section you're going to chain five one two three four and five and you're going to come over here we're now at the point where we've got the three double crochets on this side and we're going to skip over this whole center and work over here on this side as well clustering all that together so we're going to wrap our yarn around our hook and we're going to go into this very first double crochet so right here and we're going to insert our hook pull up a loop pull through two and we're going to hold it we are going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to go into this very next stitch. We're going to insert our hook. We're going to pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we're going to hold that. We're going to wrap our yarn again. We're going to insert into this very last stitch in this side and we're going to pull up a loop and we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. Now we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to skip over all of that chain work and we're going to come over here to this double crochet on this side and we're going to insert our um, hook. We're going to pull up a loop and we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it. You can check yourself to make sure that you've got five loops on your hook at this point. We're going to wrap again. We're going to come over here to this next stitch, insert our hook, pull up a loop. We're going to pull through two and we are going to hold it. Now we've got six loops on our hook. We're going to wrap our yarn again. Come right here into this very last double crochet in this section and we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop pull through two and we're going to hold it. You can check your count. You're going to have seven loops on your hook right now. And let me pull that apart so you can see. So seven loops. We're going to grab and we're going to pull through all seven loops. Now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're now over here at the seven double crochets and we're going to do a double crochet. Chain three, skipping a double crochet all the way down until we have four of the double crochet clusters. So we're going to go ahead and cluster right here into this very first double crochet. So we're working to pull that apart where you can see, working in this very first stitch. So we're going to go ahead and go in there and do your double crochet cluster just like you were doing on your back panel. And you are going to do that a total of three times into the same stitch. Four loops on the hook is your signal to grab your yarn and pull through all four loops. Now we're going to chain three. We are going to skip this very next stitch and we're going to move into the third stitch in this row or in this section and we're going to insert and we're going to do another double crochet cluster just like you've been doing. I am quite positive everybody's very very familiar with these by now if you've done your back panel first which is what you need to do and we're going to chain three. And we're going to skip this very next stitch, the fourth stitch, and we're going to go here into the fifth. And we're going to do a double crochet cluster. Just like so. So you work that half, half of your double crochet three times into the same exact stitch until you have four loops on your hook. And you pull through all four loops. Works just like that. Chain three again. 
and we're going to skip the six double crochet in this row in this section and we're going to move here into the very last one the seventh and do a double crochet cluster and we're going to grab our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook this ends our repeat for this section so if you're doing one of the larger sizes you're going to go ahead and pause here and then you will meet back up with me when you're over here at the very last part these last four double crochets we're going to work in those together if you are doing one of the sizes that requires you to work in the five um, cluster or the five foundation ovals to start out you are going to continue on with me our repeat begins with a chain five and now we're going to go ahead and cluster together these three double crochets to these three double crochets over here so we're going to go ahead and do that just as we've been doing we're going to wrap our yarn pull up a loop pull through two and hold it you're going to work into the very next double crochet you're going to insert your hook pull up a loop pull through two hold it three loops on your hook you're going to wrap your yarn again go here into this third double crochet insert your hook pull up a loop pull through two and hold it you're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to move over skipping over all of this and coming here to this double crochet and we're going to insert our hook we're going to pull up a loop we're going to pull through two we're going to hold it we've got to wrap our yarn again insert into the very next stitch right here pulling up a loop pull through two and we're going to hold it we're going to wrap our yarn again we're going to insert into the top of this next double crochet pull up a loop pull through two we're going to hold it and if you look at your hook you're going to have a total of seven loops on your hook so you're going to grab your yarn pull through all seven loops and now we're going to chain five one two three four and five and we're going to move over here into this very last section this is our four double crochets and we're going to do a double crochet cluster right here into the very first double crochet just like so just like we've been doing throughout the entire back panel and now we're going to chain three now we've chained three and we are going to skip the very next stitch and if it's getting hard for you to see your stitches feel free to stick that hook in there and push them apart so that you can see your stitches will not hurt anything and we've got that chain three on our hook so we're going to wrap our yarn we're going to be ending out this row we're going to wrap our yarn we're going to skip this very next stitch and we're going to go into that third double crochet right here so we've got that chain three hanging out over here that we're going to do just a second in the row but we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet cluster right here into that third double crochet so we're going to wrap our yarn pull up a loop pull through two insert in the same exact space wrap your yarn pull through two loops or pull up a loop and pull through two and we're going to hold it wrap your yarn again go into that same exact chain we're working in that same space over and over and we're going to pull up a loop we're going to pull through two and we're going to hold it Four loops on your hook is your signal to go ahead and pull through all four loops and we're going to chain one and now we're going to do a double crochet right here into the top of that chain three to end out this row so you're going to count up from the bottom find the top of your chain three insert your hook into it pull up a loop pull through two pull through two finish out that double crochet and now you finish that row so this is one repeat I'm going to show you your uh, new row one since you started out working in your foundation ovals down here. I'm going to show you how to begin and work on, then you'll be able to rewind the video if you need help. I'll make sure everything's marked. We're going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to do a double cro or I'm sorry, a single crochet right here into the top of this double crochet. So the same one, the one right here on the end, we're going to work right here into the top and do a single crochet just like so and now we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to skip over this double crochet cluster and move right here into that chain three space and do a single crochet now we're going to chain five one two three four and five and we are going to move over here to where we've clustered these stitches together and we're going to do a double crochet and i like to go right here into the space that we created with that cluster perfect little loop we're going to work right into that and do a double crochet oops and we are going to chain five one two three 
four, and five. And we're going to come over here to this section where we have our clusters in our uh, seven double crochets where we clustered that out. And we are going to do, we're going to skip over this chain and we're going to do a single crochet right there in that chain three space. And we're going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to come over here, skip over this cluster and go into that very next chain three space and do a single crochet. And we are going to chain two. And we're going to skip over this cluster and we'll go right here into this chain three space and do a single crochet. And that's the end of that repeat. And if you're doing one of the larger sizes, you're going to continue to work on down the same manner. And then you're going to meet back up with me. You're going to pause here and you'll meet back up with me when you're ready to do this final last section right here. So if you are doing one of the sizes that requires the same number of foundation ovals to work in, you are going to chain five with me and carry it on. And we are going to wrap our yarn and we are going to go right here. We're now at the cluster section. So we did our chain five. We're going to skip over these chains and go right here to this cluster. And we are going to insert our hook into the top of that. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to be over here now into the very last section on this row and we're going to do a single crochet right here in this chain three space in between our clusters and we are going to chain two and we're going to find our chain three this is chain four and we're going to go into the chain the top of the chain three so we're going to count up one two and three and go into that third chain and we're going to do a single crochet and that is how you are going to do your new row one. You're going to continue on down. Um, I will have it marked so you can rewind if you need help with your row two moving on up. And hopefully you will finish out and tag me in some of these pictures of your finished kimono cardigans in any of the sizes. I would love to see them. All the information is down below in the description as always. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and comment below. Thank you so much for watching.